Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be going through how to unbend your uh, specimens using landmarks on the lateral line. And so you're going to need uh, a few things before we start. These include TPS Dig, TPS Utility, and you also need an adjustment file, uh, your TPS data file, and your TPS data file after you have done your unbending. So first of all, you need to create a uh, bending adjustment file. So this is to tell the TPS utility which of your landmarks you're going to use for the unbending. And the way you do this is you get Notepad, you save the document as uh, your unbending file, but importantly you need to save the text, uh, sorry, the, um, the file type instead of text you need to save it as NTS. So you can then save that so there you've got your adjustment file that will be used in TPS Utility. So we'll open that and what you need to do then is you need to include some information in your adjustment file which I'll include in the description here. And these are the landmarks you're going to be using. So number eight is eight landmarks you're going to be using on the lateral line but of course you can change this. And then you've just got to list how many landmarks uh, you are including and what those landmarks are. So the, that went from 20 to uh, 28 because those are the landmarks we're going to be using. So I'm just going to show you the data file and those landmarks that I've just mentioned. So if you want to open up TPS Dig, okay, so we just go to File, Import Source and we go to our TPS data file. which is there, and there's our fish, and you can see here we have our eight landmarks going along the lateral line. You can see some bending there, which is what we want to get rid of. Starting from uh, landmark number 20. So we go to TPS Utility, and we go to Unbend Specimens. We input our um, TPS file, the one that isn't unbent, and then we want to have an output TPS file, um, which is going to be called unbent. Yes, we want to replace that file. And then you go to setup, you go to curve points, and you find your adjustment file, and you open that. And then you can look at your points that you're going to be using uh, in uh, TPS utility. So like I said, we've got uh, number 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 that are going to be used for uh, unbending. You then click unbend, and you can see the bending going on there, um, and the, the R squared value um, that is against um, what an, a straight line along there would look like, and that's what they use then for the unbending process. So you can close that. Um, I get a, a, an error message, but we can see here that the unbending file is different from our TPS data file and that the process of unbending has worked in TPS utility. So we've got our normal file on the left and the unbent one on the right. Okay, and then what you might want to do is you might want to remove those eight landmarks that we've used here uh, for the unbending process because they might not be useful in geometric morphometrics. So the way you do that is you do delete slash reorder landmarks in TPS utility, um, which is one of the, the, the simple functions that they have. And so you're, you want to create another TPS file, so you just copy and paste your original because it's going to be uh, overwritten anyway. Um, and so we're going to have original landmarks. And so I get a small error message here. Uh, so I'm going to have to just quickly close down the program and reopen it again. So here we go, just closing down U uh, TPS Utility. And then we can reopen again. And so we're going to overwrite um, the TPS data file unbent original landmarks. But first of all, we're going to go to delete reorder landmarks, we're going to input our unbent file, 
There it is. And our output is going to be with the original landmarks. With, yep, so we want to overwrite that. Setup, you want to uh, remove the eight landmarks that we're using along the lateral line. Of course, you can use however many landmarks along the lateral line uh, as you like, but here we just used eight, and you can see them there on that diagram. And we're going to go to uh, Setup. Sorry, yeah, Setup. <clears throat> And just to show you again, remove those eight landmarks and we're going to click create. So that will have overwritten that one and it will have removed the landmarks on the lateral line. As you can see, there are only 19 landmarks there. So that's how you unbend specimens and then remove the uh, landmarks used for unbending.